For the following problem, we're asked to solve the system of equations by graphing. The solution to a system of equations is a point x, y, so an x coordinate and a y coordinate, that makes both true. And if you remember, each one of the, the graph of each equation um, is all the points that make it true. So we graph each equation, we find out what they have in common. So for the first one, we're going to use the slope intercept method because it's already solved for y. So we can see that our slope is negative 2 and our y intercept is 2. So remember, you go over to where your y-intercept is. So on the y-axis, we go up two points and we make a point. And that's our starting place for the slope. And our slope is negative 2 over 1. So since slope is rise over run, rise means go up or down. Since it's negative, we go down. So we go down 2 and to the right 1. And then we go again, down 2 to the right 1, down 2 to the right 1. So you can see the four points I made. Then I'm going to draw all my line is. I'm going to be very careful when drawing my line. So I want to make it as straight as possible. It's good to use a ruler, if possible, to draw these lines because this is a very inexact method, and so you need to try to be as exact as possible to work it. For the second one, it's not solved for y. So what I'm going to use is what's called the intercept method of graphing. I'm going to first find the x-intercept, which we find the x-intercept by plugging in 0 for y. And then I'll also find the y-intercept, and those will be the two points I draw my line through. So I put 2 in for y, which just goes away, so I'm left with 2x equals negative 6. So I can just solve this very easily by dividing by 2, and I find out x equals negative 3. So the x-intercept is negative 3. Now the y-intercept is when we put 0 in for x. Put 0 in for x, you get 2 times 0 plus 3y equals negative 6. The 2 times 0 goes away because it's 0, and so you're left with 3y equals negative 6. So we divide both sides by 3 find out y equals negative 2. So we have x equals negative 3, y equals negative 2. So we graph those two points, negative 3, 0, which is the go over on the x-axis to negative 3, and then 0, negative 2, which we go to the y-axis to negative 2, and then we carefully draw our line in, uh, making sure that we go through the, the points as best we can. Again, a ruler is very important here. If you notice, our lines actually intersected at a point that I marked on both of them, or very closely on both of them. It's very clear what point they marked at. It's not always so clear, but this one it's very clear. And that point is 3 over negative 4 down. And so 3 negative 4 is our solution. That's the point that makes both equations true, because that's what a graph is, all the points that make an equation true.